Grayson County man is behind bars for killing his nine year old stepdaughter. But the girl's family believes it was all just a terrible accident. WLKY's Ann Bowden is here with the story. Ann? Well, Rick and Vicki, the family of Laura Renfro is preparing for her funeral Saturday. This past Sunday, during a family birthday party, police say her stepfather made a reckless decision that took her life. She was perfect. She was beautiful and so smart. And she always smiled. To her friends and family, nine year old Laura Renfro shined. She participated in the gifted and talented program at school and sang in the choir. What type of friend was Laura to you? My BFF. But on Sunday, at a time when her family celebrated the birthday of her youngest cousin, an act of fun became deadly. It's an accident. I don't know why. None of us will ever know why. Family says Laura's stepfather, Jason Appleby, allowed four kids, ages three through nine, into the flatbed of his truck. The kids wanted to throw water balloons at her brother, who was mowing the lawn. But when Jason put the truck in reverse, it wouldn't stop. You could see the skid marks down through here. It, it just wouldn't stop, and it just kept on going, it kept on going, and it went all the way down. Me and Max fell out, and then. Zoe fell out right after us, and Lori didn't fall out until the last second. And Laura was pinned. And we cried and we prayed, and we couldn't get her out. We couldn't get her out. And I called 911 so many times. Emergency crews arrived quickly, but Laura was already dead. Told the officers that his brakes failed when he tried to apply the brakes. The kids were thrown out of the back of the vehicle, and the vehicle came to a rest up against the embankment. Police arrested Appleby on felony charges. They say his actions were reckless. The dangers are always there of, you know, having children in the back of a vehicle, obviously unrestrained, and, you know, at that point, anything can happen. Now, the three other children were treated and released. Jason Appleby's first court appearance to answer to the felony wanton endangerment charges is this Thursday. Ann Bowden, WLKY News. Mm, heartbreaking. Thank you, Ann. Now, people charged with wanton endangerment are accused of showing extreme indifference for life or engaging in conduct that creates a substantial risk of death. It carries a maximum sentence of five years for each count. Jason Appleby faces three counts.